Hey, it's Danny Snow, and this is Breakdown in Lockdown. When we got back together to write Emotion Paralyzed, we've been idle for so long, we've been on a little break, which actually I think it was over a year long. And we were all so busy and occupied with other projects and other things. That's why it was great to just hang out, have a laugh and just, you know, be in touch together and be back. Now, Silence Means Nothing was one of the first tracks we have finished instrumentally for this album. And we knew we wanted to go poppier, yet keep some of the heaviness. So basically make a, make a hybrid album of a new poppy RBO and the old school RBO. And what we've done with Silence Means Nothing in particular, as it is a heavier track or one of the heaviest tracks on the record, is we've incorporated old elements, like some heavy guitars, one of the cinematic elements, but we brought the cinematic elements to a new level. So where we in the past had cinematic elements and just some parts of the tracks, like in the intro or in a middle eight or during the chorus, we now have synth running throughout the whole track. And what this looks like, let's just jump straight into it. So the intro of Silence Means Nothing is basically the theme of the song. We have the keys that run throughout the whole track and we have a cello that underlines what the guitar will be doing when the guitars come in. Additionally, we have some drums, filtered drums that go from low to high and what it sounds like is just that. So there we have the filter. going into the full intro. Now for the full band intro, instrumentally, it's still quite simple. We have one chord's drums to create this the spaciousness of the song. We double tracked the guitars, but what we did to make it a little bit broader is we have added another guitar that just plays the single notes following the chords, but just the single notes. So together they they create this big riff. Now, as I said earlier, we have, we have brought the cinematic element to a whole new level. What I mean by that is best shown in the verse. So the verse alone, when we, when we just single out all the cinematic elements and all the synth, they kind of sound quite sad, quite mellow. The synths stay in the same key, they all stay on the C, which is the root of the song. What changes it is that single string guitar that moves in the background. So it's basically just a tremolo on a C that moves to a G sharp at the end of every section. Added towards that to give it some sort of movement because there's no drums in the first part of the first verse is we added another synth element that moves around that is very techno, very electronic. So that adds that movement to the song. Now we go into the second part of the first verse and the full band is coming back in. So we have drums, guitars, bass, etc. And what we did to make this bigger as well is we've added another bass synth that follows the chords the guitars are playing. Just to make it a little bit more bigger. When we come to the vocals, what we've done for the first time on Emotion Paralyzed generally is that we've double-tracked all the vocals. We've previously done it on certain parts, like a chorus or a middle eight, but on the Emotion Paralyzed, we've literally double-tracked the vocals from the first verse until the outro. There's double-tracks everywhere. So listening to, to Marvin Isolated, so we have that vocal and we have another vocal with different effects on. And together it creates this kind of chorus effect with the phaser on the second vocals. 
but it just blends together very nicely. Another thing we've done in the in the second part of the first verse is we've harmonized the whole part. So it goes throughout the whole thing to just create this little bit of extra. Moving to the pre-chorus. So again, it's like an empty guitar. It's just like one strum to give that aggression. Dorian is hammering along on the drums. And we've added to our doubled vocals. We've added a scream. And that leads us into the chorus. Now, for the chorus, what we've previously done is we've harmonized the chorus. We are a sucker for great harmonized choruses, but here we wanted to do something different. My all-time favorite band is Avenged Sevenfold, and they do that a lot. So they add a choir rather than a harmony into the chorus. I've shown Marvin Afterlife from Avenged Sevenfold, and what stuck to him most was that choir, those R's in the, in the chorus. So we tried to, to implement that as well, and it works really well. We did the same thing in This Hell is Heaven Sent. It just adds a whole different dimension. It makes it so much more spacious. So we've done that here, and by choir, it's not that we've went into to a church and recorded a men's choir. We've basically got all our friends together and we all crambled up separately in the studio in the vocal booth and repeated the same line over and over again until we had like 40 or 50 tracks of, of just vocals that did the same thing. Now in there we have another synth that follows this a little bit. Not precisely following the melody of the choir, but it just adds to that texture. As I said before, the keys in the intro, they play exactly the same thing as the chorus does. So we have those keys here. There's just some more techno going on. <laughs> now moving to the second verse, it's basically the same, same layout as the first verse, but we have the full band throughout. And this time round, we've only harmonized a certain section of the verse. So you, you obviously have that in blues, the field holler, call and response kind of theme. In hip hop, you have that a lot, the gang shouts. So that's the same thing we've added here with only a certain line being harmonized. No place to go, no vision to follow. We drank our bottle, and it's just back to Marvin on his own. Now the breakdown, obviously breakdown is a, is a wide term, but we have this riff I came up with and I can remember very vividly that I wasn't sure about this riff. As we puzzled the song together, it just felt quite right. That riff goes throughout the whole breakdown. So what we did to, to change that and to spice that up a little bit is we added some chucks on the guitars when it turns round. just to give that a little bit more aggression. To release this, that's just a simple hit. That hit repeats throughout every, like you know you have a, a sub drop, like the doo, and we've just added a hit to underline a new part. And it's that one. Obviously you have to have a tambourine in there to give it some more movement as well. As for the breakdown, what changes it, or what makes it a little bit more special throughout, is the drums. So Dorian, in the first part, he's just hammering on the snare. It's almost like a war drum, you know? just to drive the song along, going into a drum roll here. Before we go into the bouncy bit. And again, it still stays on the same riff throughout. So to absolutely break your fucking neck at the end of it, Dorian is just beating the shit out of the drums here. We had the honor to have Liam from the Cancer Bats 
featuring on this song. And when he came down to the studio, it was obviously super exciting to see how other musicians perform, um, what they bring, bring with them in a studio environment. So he came down and he ripped the vocals in a couple of takes. I think it didn't take more than two takes for him to, to basically have what we have on the, on the record now. We double tracked those as well to give it just some more aggression. So we have one fried vocal and we have his full on screams. Rip the bottom of a bottle, it's your only release. Go ahead and fucking drink it till you have your relief. Rip the bottom of a bottle, it's your only release. Go ahead. And we move back to the last chorus. And the last chorus is basically the same, but Liam will stay with us throughout the chorus. Now, Liam's vocals in the last chorus, I absolutely adore them because we've added, obviously, his, his um, signature screams, but there's also a fried vocal in there. And whenever we perform the song live, I try to imitate or copy that fried vocal as much as I can because I just love it so much. We're falling down, steal the scars from the sky. Heavens break, heavens break. And a little variation on this one. Down, steal the stars from the sky. Break, and we end on a scream from Liam. Break. And that is silence means nothing in a nutshell. But thank you very much for tuning in, checking this video out. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comment section which songs you would like us to do, and we will try our best to do them next. Obviously, with this whole corona thing going on, please stay safe out there, stay healthy, stay two meters apart, and save lives. Take care, guys, and we'll see you next time in Breakdown. Bye.